Oh, um, shit, I uh, should probably move that. Uh, hold on, sorry. Um... Okay guys, uh, so today I'm bringing you something different and uh, I'm going to manage a team in like the 20th tier of English football and we're going to try and take them to the Champions League within four seasons, but we're actually going to do it right. So um, let's just look at the team. So as you can see, I'm managing uh, United Services Portsmouth uh, who are in the Wessex League Division 1. Um, there's uh, very few, you know, good teams in this league. I mean, uh, none of them will probably beat Barcelona uh, this season. But next season, you never know. I mean, I could bring in a load of uh, championship-level players. Uh, and uh, we might actually win this league. So uh, let's just have a look at the squad. Um, so you can see that uh, none of these players are good enough. Uh, I mean, uh, Trevor Brock is definitely one of my best players. Oh, wait, hold on. Just give me a second. I just got to uh, edit something. So, um, as you can see, uh, I've uh, not actually edited the stats, but he's a fantastic player. I mean, he's League 1 standard, and he's playing in the Wessex League Division 1. I mean, what a guy to drop that far down. I mean, just look at the stats. You, I mean, you could see 19 leadership. I mean, he's going to become a great captain for us. Uh, 12 finishing in uh, this league is fantastic. 15 corners. I mean, he's a striker, so he doesn't really have to take corners, but it's good to have anyway. Uh, 15 pace, uh, 12 long shots. I meant even 18 vision, which uh, is a bit surprising for that level because uh, if he was actually that good, he would uh, be playing somewhere higher than this. So, uh, as you can see, the league, I mean, there's a, a few names which I can pick out here. Uh, Downton, who, who um, you know, they were in the Premier League a few years ago, apparently. Uh, Alton, uh, I mean, they were good as well. Uh, you know, Ringwoods, I mean, Ringwoods, uh, they're a world-class team. I mean, they're better than Germany, definitely. So, uh, as you can see, uh, because uh, I've, uh, you know, changed the formation a bit, because I don't want the game to be too easy, even though I've edited all my players' stats and I've made the team too good for the league. I've, uh, I'm playing a 4-1-2-2-1 or something shit like that. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got a winger on the right. You know, he's going to hopefully cut in and, uh, you know, cross it into the box for our strikers to score. Because, you know, we want to win this uh, league, you know, only two months into the season. I mean, we don't really want a challenge. We want to make the FA Cup third round as well. I mean, we're going to get a big tie away at Man United. And we're probably, you know, going to give ourselves a lot of money as well. Uh, you know, actually, you know what? Uh, what's my uh, transfer budget saying as well? Uh, my transfer budget at the moment is saying uh, zero. So uh, I'm just going to, you know, just uh, hold on a second. So um, as you can see now, I've got a wage budget of 2.8 million. Uh, I mean, that's completely out of uh, what it should be expected. But I'm going to give myself a bit more transfer budget. So I'm going to give myself uh, 1.3 million to spend. I mean, we are at the 20th level of uh, English football. But I do need the money because I want to bring in, like, League One quality players for this level. I mean, we should probably look at another player as well uh, on the team. So uh, let's look at um, uh, Jamie Bogard. I mean, um, I mean, his stats, they're not brilliant. Uh, just give me a second. I'll probably just uh, change that. So once again, yeah, we'll look at Jamie Bogard. So as you can see, I mean, he's grown his to his potential. I mean, he is an excellent player. It's incredible, like, the, you know, the amount of stats, you know, how quickly that's risen. I mean, um, is anyone interested in him? No, I think he could be the player to stay here forever. Uh, we're just going to look at another, you know, big player here. Um, let's say the goalkeeper, Andrew Yates. I mean, oh, look at his stats. I mean, they're like, incredible for a keeper of this level. I mean, he shouldn't really be playing at this level, but for him to be playing at this level, incredible. Um, we'll look at someone else like uh, Con Kelly. Uh, no, his stats aren't good enough, uh, so there's no point. Uh, Ricky Cugley. I mean, look at those stats. League One standard, 19 finishing, 12 composure. I mean, at this level... It is incredible. So I'm just uh, I'm just going to go on holiday for about four months and then see where my team is Like at the end of... Uh... It doesn't really matter what you say to me anyway because uh, any negative comments I'm going to delete anyway. Okay, guys. Uh, so we've just returned from holiday about four months early and I've just seen we've won 6-1 against Totten and Ealing. I mean, Ricky Cogley. I mean, what a guy he is. I mean, look at his stats. I mean, incredible player. I mean, he got a hat-trick. Uh, Trevor Brock, uh, you know, our other player, he got two goals as well. I mean, he's uh, he's going to be world-class someday. I mean, he's 28, so he's probably his time's gone. And Jamie Bogard, I mean, look at his stats. I mean, they're going down already, but I'm probably going to edit them back up again. So who cares? 